Like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and make sure to hit that bell notification, the actual subscribe button. But you remember last week when I said, you know, Riot was going to reveal the new Covermade Champion on November 19th, or the 19th of November, however you like to do that? Well, no one kind of knew that meant, even for content creators, we had that date marked on the calendar, it was great, and then they decided the crack of dawn today, with no warning, to drop teasers for it, which makes sense, they want to keep people surprised and entertained, but as creators, dang, I wish I could have set my alarm clock, that's totally not a shot at Riot, though, whatsoever. I'm not even in the partner program. I don't get privilege. It's whatever. I'm not- I'm, I'm fine. But with that being said, let's do a video about the teasers, then. Because I did tell you about this, and you might want to know about the teasers, unless, of course, you've already seen it. Well, in this case, uh, thank you for watching this video, too. With that being said, there are some teaser images for the colorful champion, the colorful mage, whatever they're gonna end up being named, and there's one of what looks like Ari, one that looks like of Darius, and one that looks like- I thought at first Pool Party Lulu, but it's actually probably new new because of the rework, though I forgot that champion existed, unfortunately. But there's two people, so I kind of think it might be both of them. Maybe one of them is the Yeti transformed, Willop transformed into like a second new new. I'm not exactly sure. They're all watermarked looking images, which actually look very pretty for that matter. But with that being said, there's also like a teaser video that just kind of shows the videos or shows the images coming to be, which is why I say they're watermarked like images. They're pretty cool. Now, what I want to go into on this is that you may have heard a long time ago of a champion called Omen. Not to be confused with Omen by HP, but there was a champion called Omen. It was kind of what's called Icebox. When a champion or a project is kind of maybe kind of working but not working, they'll kind of icebox it, put it away for some time, maybe see if they like parts of it that they can implement it into other stuff and such like that. Omen kind of was one of those things where he wasn't quite working and being implemented. They eventually took some concepts from it and turned it into Rek'Sai. The relevancy here is that there was an Ink Mage idea that they never quite got to work in the past, and they might have done the same thing. Icebox the Ink Mage, and kind of took parts though that they liked, and are implementing it into this new champion, which is why these images are watermarked, which is why possibly, maybe this is kind of like what the Ink Mage, I guess, could have been, if you want to go that route, right? And so this might be what we're looking at is one of their abilities, like their ultimate or something, where maybe like through images, they can spawn enemy champions. Even if it's just for like one ability or something, think like Mordekaiser's Ghost, or if you ever see like an anime or TV show, I'll use Naruto for example, they had a character in there called Sai. He could like use art to draw in a book and then like spawn those creatures to fight for him out the book. Maybe it's something like that, like a roulette with champions, or maybe it's a possession of some sort. Because one of the things about this is all these champions have something about them that like is indication of like the flower from the teaser of the colorful mage. Maybe it's like kind of like Jin and think of it that way. Like a mage version of Jin. So you can stop playing AP Jin and just actually play this champion instead, basically. One thing to also add is that maybe that these images are specific to those champions, right? Like let's say they can spawn champions to fight for them, even if it's for one ability. Maybe it's just for Ari or Darius or Lulu Nunu. New, new Lulu, new Lulu Nu, new Lu, bo 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 bo. Whatever the case is, maybe that's part of how their mechanic is gonna work on that. Also, it's just a certain set of champions. Or maybe it's like Jin again, where he had like certain champions he kind of sniped, but then didn't have any like relevancy to the in game play whatsoever. That was just kind of to hype the artistic side of them, which is still cool, by the way. But maybe that's all there is to it. So, if you want to know more about this as well, make sure to check out Surrender 20. Make sure to check out Skin Spotlights. When stuff comes out, they will have it out as well. And they're very, very, very reliable source to go check out. So, one of the things I want to ask you guys in the comment section, though, is what do you think this champion is going to be like based off of these teaser images, based off of that little you know, icebox thing, maybe this is like a, a reincarnation of the Ink Mage, so if you want to look up stuff with the Ink Mage, you can too, maybe to get a better idea of maybe what this champion will be like, and also a reminder, they're just going to flat out reveal this champion tomorrow, so it can hit the PvE for the next patch on Tuesday, 8.24. But that's going to be all for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, and by now, probably everybody and their mothers had videos out before me, because I should have known to wake up at 8 o'clock. I'm waking up at 8 o'clock every day from now on. I, that's probably a lie, but still, I don't know which video will be next, because I've been having a lot of kinks. So until this time, take care. GG, you jinx. Thank you for watching, and enjoy pizza responsibly.